This is Matt Russell from the FX Power Course, and welcome to the Daily FX Walkthrough. So here are the four pairs that I will be discussing this evening, the Euro Pound, the Aussie Kiwi, the Pound Swiss, and the Euro Swiss. So let's go ahead and pull up the charts. The first chart is the Euro Pound, and this is the daily chart, and this is a simple support line that I've been using for this pair for the past for the past several sessions. Uh, moving forward now, I might adopt a slight uh, bullish bias against the low of these candles over here. Uh, the lows are all in, in similar locations, and that's the 87.75 area, uh, maybe placing a stop 10 or 15 pips below that area, so in the uh, 87.60 or 87.55 area. That's something that we can look for tentatively uh, moving forward. But again, not very high confidence uh, on this trade idea. Uh, with that being said, the target for this would be a test of the, uh, the previous support line, which should now act as resistance moving forward. The next chart is the Aussie Kiwi, and not much has changed here. Uh, the bounce off that 38.2 Fib uh, that I mentioned several reports back continues. Uh, although prices do look a, a little bit toppy here, we have a borderline uh, bearish engulfing candle and then a borderline doji candle forming uh, right next to it. So if you are still in this trade, I might recommend uh, taking all your profits at this point. And I'm going to start favoring uh, short trades with this pair, but I don't have anything clear yet in terms of a, a clear resistance line that the pair has formed. So we're just going to have to let this play out over the next 24 to 48 hours. The next chart is the pound Swiss. As I mentioned yesterday, I was w waiting for a close beneath the 69.50 area. Uh, that did not occur. So right now, I, I really have no bias on this pair. Uh, looking for the eventual uh, short trade, uh, but again, I would need to see prices close beneath that 69.50 area uh, before I can get interested in that short trade. The last chart is the Euro Swiss, and not much has changed here. Again, this is the longer term resistance line that I've been using uh, for the past several weeks on the pair. And again, we have this bull flag pattern with prices breaking out. But let me zoom in a little bit closer here and tell you exactly what I am looking at in the pair. Uh, we can see that this is a, a clear doji candle here. Uh, the previous trend is not very defined, so I, it's not the best signal in the world. Uh, but again, we can use the low of that doji candle as a reference point. Again, that's 5080, maybe placing our stop about 10 or 15 pips beneath that low. So that would be in the in the 15070 area, 15065. So if we can get an entry somewhere uh, close to there, that would that would maintain a very favorable risk-to-reward ratio, again, because the, the trade idea is low confidence, so we have, to be, we have to be paid in order for us to get into the trade. So that would mean maybe risking 30 or 40 pips uh, to make a few hundred pips on the upside, which, if this line holds or if that doji holds, the target for the trade would be, again, that longer-term resistance line, where I would be a little bit more aggressive, but, it doesn't, but now with prices about 300 pips away, that's the trade we're going to have to wait to set up. Again, my name is Matt Russell. I'm an FX Power Course instructor here at FXCM. Thanks for listening.